How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you three music video effects in under three minutes. So the first effect I'm going to show you is called the flicker scale transition. So I've got two clips on my timeline, clip A and clip B. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go along one frame on my second clip and add a cut. I'm going to do this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just going to zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to delete every other clip like so. I'm just going to add another two cuts just to add another frame like so. Then I'm going to highlight all these separate clips, drag them into the video layer above. My first clip I'm going to drag across like so. So now we have this effect. Now to add a bit more to this effect, I'm going to change the scale of each individual clip of the clip on top. So I'm going to come over to my scale. I'm going to increase the scale and the position. I'm going to do the exact same for the remaining clips in video layer two. Increase the scale, change the rotation and position of some. That's perfect. And now we have the flicker scale transition. So the next effect is called the bass shake effect. I've set a marker in my timeline of where I want the bass shake effect to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and click this button. Then I'm gonna select adjustment layer. I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna drag the adjustment layer above my clip like so. And I'm just going to delete this part of the adjustment layer. Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna go to my effects panel and type in directional blur. I'm going to drag the directional blur into the effects control panel and I'm going to set the blur length to say 45. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my effects panel and type in transform and I'm going to drag the transform effect into the effects control panel as well. I'm going to make sure the uniform scale is checked and I'm going to increase this to 105. I'm going to go along a couple frames and add a car each frame then delete every other frame like so and now we have the very simple bass shake effect the next effect is the starter effect so i've set a marker in my timeline of where i want this effect to start so i'm going to select my clip i'm going to add a cut i'm going to go along one frame i'm going to add another cut and again one frame add another cut go along one more frame and add another cut i'm going to drag this part of my clip over a bit like so i'm going to highlight these three clips and i want to copy them so i'm going to hold alt and i'm going to click and i'm going to drag them to the end of the clip like so and i'm going to do the same again i'm going to highlight all of them this time i'm going to hold alt so i'm going to click and i'm going to drag like so then this clip here i'm going to connect it back to all my previous clips and then now we have the stutter effect very simple effective music video effects in under three minutes my name is Jermaine Grant don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and i'll see you again next time take care goodbye